Hey everybody, it's Ed with Over the Hills 2019 and this little video is about uh, water condensation backing up in your AC system and an easy fix uh, that I found. So to give you a quick happening of what went on, uh, we had run our AC all day long. It was particularly hot and in the evening after the AC was off, all of a sudden water was dripping from up here and coming down hitting the floor below. Well, we had enough experience in our, our previous jobs with HVAC that we figured it was probably a clogged up uh, condensation line or drain. And uh, a quick search on YouTube proved that to be right. There's a lot of great videos out there about how to fix this problem. But the, the thing about their videos is it involves getting up on the roof, taking the cover off your AC system, uh, unscrewing your condensation unit and gently lifting it up so not to disturb any of the lines, pulling the condensation tray out, getting back down, washing it all out, and putting it all back together and make sure it's sealed up right. Well, there's two problems with that. Um, one, it's a lot of work, and, and two in particular, I'm scared to death of heights and I'm not going to get up there and do that. So how do you solve the problem when you're RVing full time and boondocking? I'm going to show you what we did and uh, hopefully the fix will help you out and save you a lot of headache. Okay, so it's a little windy out here and I hope you can all hear me okay. But uh, so now the first thing you need to fix this is a water source. And in our particular case, I'm using the outside shower and we converted our outside shower. This is just an offshoot. Uh, because, uh, I mean, we don't use the outside shower, but we do need to bathe our pets. So this is a nice feature, too, if you uh, have your pets and you'd like to give them tempered water when you're trying to bathe them. I just simply change this out, put some connections in so that I can connect the uh, common garden hose to it. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to connect the garden hose to this. I'm just going to turn the cold water on. I've got the garden hose behind me. I got a little ladder. I'm not going to get up on the roof, but I'm going to get high enough up. And I, maybe you know where this is going to go, but I'm going to show you step by step what I did and how it solved the problem. So bear with me. We'll get things hooked up and I'll take you upstairs. Okay, I've climbed up on the roof. Well, high enough up so I can see the AC unit. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Now right at the bottom here, that is the condensation unit, and below that is, is the tray that uh, there's holes on either side that let the water run out, goes across your roof, and runs off. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this garden hose, and I'm going to give it a rinse. Okay, so I got my handy-dandy garden hose here, and what I'm doing is getting a stream going right along the edge there and when these condensation trays fill up there's just a little bit of water that drips down in there and the dust and everything clogs them up so by putting a lot of water in there just shooting along going back and forth a little bit I can already see I got trickles of water coming out both sides the water is running right down off the roof, out of it, down to the tray. So I know that, that it's clear and the tray's draining properly. That's all I had to do. I didn't have to take anything apart. I just had to get up here and give it a rinse. So if you have a clogged AC line, you might want to try that, or drain line. If you have a clogged AC drain line, you might want to try this. It's a simple fix. I mean, why not give it a try and see if it works before you rip everything apart? So that was it. That's what I did to fix the problem. It's worked like a charm. And now I've kind of added it to my routine of maintenance. Uh, when I clean the filter up here, um, you know, why not get out there and just shoot some water up there? And again, that's how we got our water source was off our outside shower. We boondock a lot. Uh, but you could do it in an RV park and, and just get it done. And 
you don't I would always do this first before I would get up there on the roof and rip everything apart and risk bending the lines to the condensation unit and things like that. Hope it's been helpful to you all if you've enjoyed it and it has been helpful. Uh, we've got a lot of other videos, everything from cooking tips that we've learned in the stoves in these units and uh, our travel videos and RV reviews too. So we've got a lot going on. Check our channel out. Thanks so much for tuning in and I hope it's been helpful to you all. We also record a lot of videos about all the stupid mistakes we make in an effort that you won't make them too. So thanks for tuning in.